Well, a new study shows more young children are using smartphones and other mobile devices. And they start young, with many children using mobile devices by their first birthday. The survey of nearly 300 parents revealed 75% of four-year-olds had their own mobile device. 20% of one-year-olds had their own tablet. And about one in four parents admitted they use a mobile device to put their children to sleep. But some scientists and doctors are now warning about potential dangers to children when it comes to extended exposure from radiation from cell phones. Today, I spoke with Austin neurosurgeon Mark Burnett about what this new information means for parents. Dr. Burnett, what is your position when it comes to uh, health-related issues and radiation from cell phones? We all worry about that sort of thing, uh, but at this point there really is no hard and fast understanding of how cell phones could cause cancer in particular because the radiation isn't strong enough to break apart DNA. What is the difference between um, exposure for children and exposure for adults? The structure of the, a child's skull is just different than an adult. The skulls are thinner uh, and so if there is any sort of radiation that comes through your cell phone that could be harmful, the concern is that it can get through the skull into the brain and neural tissue a little bit easier than it might in an adult. You're talking about something that we all use every day and now our kids are using every day over over many, many years, and so it's sort of like uh, uh, smoking. We know smoking is bad, but many years ago we didn't know that it was exactly harmful for us, and we just don't want to find out down the road somehow that we've been doing something now uh, that caused a future ill health effect for our kids. And to lower radiation exposure for all of us, experts recommend holding your phone away from your face at least six inches, and they say to use the speaker or an earpiece whenever you can.